Okay, work it, girl. Be a lady. So my name's Brittany Cabrera. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Uh, this is my sweet Mimi, my golden girl. Um, she is 12 and she's a Shih Tzu. She doesn't really beg. She doesn't bark at all. She has her own stroller. She has her own outfits. We do brunch. So she's very much like a lady. It was so crazy. My brother kept telling me, hey, you need to change her food. She's getting older. And she was having trouble going. And it was in the morning. It was at 7.50 a.m. I remember she was finally going and I was so excited. I was like, yay, we finally have a movement. And then I ran in into the kitchen to grab a little poopy bag, ran right back outside. It was less than a minute and she was gone, just gone. It was heartbreaking. Got in my car, I let my boss know, hey, I lost my dog. After a couple hours, I was like, oh my God, like she's really gone and I don't know where she went. So I started knocking on doors. I just couldn't find her. I was just in complete disarray. This is my first time experiencing this. I've never lost her. So we live next to a very busy street, highway on both sides, because she is um, half blind as well. She was gone for 26 days. During those 26 days, I went to all the shelters. I, I did Paw Boots, Facebook groups. I joined all of them. Uh, there was no sign of her. One day, Somebody made a post saying that it was her, it was a paw boost. I'm so thankful. Before I could even see it, somebody, it was like up in four minutes and somebody tagged me in it. And I was like, I was like, that's her. I was like, that's my, that's Mimi. Um, and I just knew right away it was her. So she ended up in Waxahachie, which is about 30 miles from Dallas. The person who found her took her back home with her to Waxahachie and she was meaning to take her into the vet to get her scanned with the microchip. However, with the holidays and everything, she just didn't have the time to do that. It was this amazing family out there in Waxahachie that had her. When I walked in and I saw her, I couldn't even speak. I could not speak. I, I just cried. It, you know, they say that like, you know, they're, they're family and they are, but it's like when going through that, I really realized, wow, this really is my best friend. This really is my, my girl, you know? But apart from uh, probably giving birth to my son, that was probably one of the most happiest moments of my life, just because, uh, you know, she's only six pounds and you don't think six pounds can mean so much to you. I'll remember that moment for like the rest of my life. A lot of people will tell you don't give up, you know, and it'll be two weeks later and you don't give up and really honestly, like do not give up because they do come home. I was, you know, becoming a little bit discouraged i will say you know no matter what just keep looking for them because i feel like they're gonna keep looking for you 